Today we're talking about the ancient Hawaiian practice of Ho'oponopono. If this interests you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living and all kinds of metaphysical, esoteric things that I find interesting. So if these things interest you, hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So what is Ho'oponopono? Have you guys heard of this? I'm sure you have. It's a pretty common practice um, and thing that people talk about and teach about. It's an ancient Hawaiian practice of reconciliation and forgiveness for yourself and for others. I've heard several people actually talk about how it supposedly originated on the ancient continent of Mu. So, pretty old. Ho'oponopono translates into cause things to move back into balance or to make things right. When you use this prayer or mantra or chant, um, whatever you want to call it, it causes stuck energy to be released and it helps things to get moving again. It helps release and move those feelings of shame, trauma, guilt, haunting memories, resentments, um, grudges. What's interesting is that I have had this topic on my videos to make, my to-do list, since the beginning. So for three years now, I've had this on my to-do list and I always looked at it and went, meh. It just didn't resonate as being time to do it yet. And in the last few weeks that I've been focusing on my thymus chakra, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link to a video I just made last week, I think, on that topic. Um, but since I've been focusing on my thymus chakra heavier and I've been asking to please help release issues of trauma, help anything that would be blocking this chakra, because your thymus chakra is one that's related to karma, related to traumas, this life and past life. Um, and so you have to like do the shadow work to get that up and out. Once I started focusing on that chakra and I asked for help with this, I've been having dreams that have been, wow, traumatic <laughs> memories and things that I didn't even know were memories. I think maybe they were a past life dream, um, very traumatic, and um, things that need purged have just been coming up. I've been getting faced and confronted with a lot of issues that need dealt with. But at the same time, what's also been happening is that I've been getting Ho'oponopono stuck in my mind. Like it just keeps coming to me, keeps coming to me. And so finally I was like, you know what, you're right. And when I was scrolling through my list of videos, possibilities, ideas to, to make, like what should I do next? Boom, there it was. And I'm like, oh wow, I forgot I even had this on here. And I was like, Okay, I hear you guys, so let's talk about it. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? What do you do? It's so simple. It's four phrases that seem so simple and yet can move mountains. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. When you say that over and over again, it touches this place inside of you. And even if you're not immediately feeling it, when you repeat it over and over and over, it starts to chip away and to break down at the hardness. It taps into that loving, forgiving, unconditional place for ourselves and for others. So you can picture someone in your mind that you are that you have had a history with or have issues with and you can focus it towards them and in your mind just repeat, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. 
or you can do that towards yourself. Everywhere that you failed yourself, you've judged yourself, you've let yourself down, you have been too hard on yourself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. All right, I hope this helps you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever um, had a Ho'oponopono practice? How did it benefit you? What are your thoughts? All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Until next time.